Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. First of all, I want to thank you all so much for helping me get to 10k. I never even imagined I would get this far here on YouTube, so thank you so, so much. And now we're going to start with today's video, which is going to be a review haul try on of a brand that I really like, which is called Restyle. They're a Polish brand. First of all, they have some of the best corsets out there and they're really affordable, but they also have jewelry and clothes and a lot of other things. So let's start with the jewelry set that I'm wearing. It is very old. I have it for so many years. I think it's not in stock anymore, but I still wanted to show you because I like it a lot and maybe someday they will bring it back to their catalog. For this set, I only have the earrings and necklace, but I seem to remember that they have matching bracelets back then. The next item is in stock and I got it quite recently. You may have seen it here because I did a video with my favorite outfits and it was there. It is this corset. It is steel boned and it's an overbust and it is really lovely. I really hope you cannot see the cat hairs in it because <laughs> it's not so pretty on the inside right now but that's totally my fault. For this one, I got a size 20 because I was afraid my hips wouldn't fit an 18. So let's try this on so you can see how it looks like on me. The only thing I don't really like about wrist style corsets is uh, the laces. They are really difficult to pull. They're kind of thick and they don't slide, but it's better because they stay in place, but it's really difficult to get them on. And since I don't have any help, my arms always hurt after this. Although I think I could close it a little bit more at the bottom, I think I'm gonna leave it like that because my arms and neck hurt a little bit. So since I'm not going out and I'm just gonna keep it on for five minutes, I don't think there is any reason to keep going. But if I wanted to, I could tighten it a little bit so this part here would be like closer to my hips. But I actually like when it's a little bit loose in here because it gives the effect of even bigger hips, which is something I personally love. In any case, this is what the corset looks like on. My natural waist is 24 inches, around 60 centimeters, and a size 20 fits perfectly. Now maybe you would see it a little bit better if I lower this. So you see the shape in here. But I think you can see it pretty well even if I'm wearing a dress underneath. I love this corset, it's one of my favorites. I think it's the only steel bond overbust corset I have. The fact that it has a very small waist but really big hips is a plus for me because I always struggle with corsets that are too straight for my body type and this one is just perfect. Again, the only thing I don't like about it are the laces that are too difficult to pull. I think something slightly thinner would be faster to tie and untie and I am very short, I have a very short torso so this corset is a little bit too long for me you can see it here I think this should end a little bit lower it's not a problem and I can wear it comfortably but it is a tiny bit too long for me which is like a me problem because I am very short the next thing I want to show you is this kind of belt thingy with this skeleton on the front. These used to be super popular and I think they were one of the things that made Restyle get really well known online and I got it back then. I'm not sure if they're still in stock, at least not this specific design, but I still wanted to try this on. Maybe if it's not you can find it second hand or something like that. This is what it looks like on top of a corset. And if you're a 20 or an 18 in corset size, this is going to be too big for you. I would recommend this for someone wearing a 22 and up. Because, um, not sure if you can see this, but it's quite big and there's definitely a lot of room here. Since this is elastic, it would fit a bigger body a lot better. But when I'm not wearing a corset, it looks a lot better. Not really tight, but... <laughs> That's a personal problem I have with all belts I ever buy, no matter the brand. The only exception being one from Doll Skill that fits me perfectly. But other than that, most belts are too big for me and that's probably because I'm a very tiny person. The next thing I'm gonna show you is one of my favorite items in this haul and it is 
this gorgeous handbag and it's just perfect it is so so beautiful the quality looks really great and it's a little bit heavy that's the only downside but i personally love it i still haven't had time to use it but if i had somewhere to go i would love to use this one it has this big detail here with this pentagram that you can open then of course this is shaped like bat wings I'm not sure if you can see this properly, but the zipper has the Vestal branding in here and it still has all the papers and all that inside. It comes with an extra strap if you want to hang it around your arm. I'm not sure how well you can see any of this, but it has like a pocket in here. I'm not sure if my cell phone would fit in here. I'm gonna try. Unfortunately, my cell phone doesn't fit here. Then it has this pocket. I think I could put it here. And this one. I'm not sure if you can see any of this. But anyway, you might see the zipper better right now. Now so you get a better idea of how big it is. I got a little further away from the camera. And this is what it would look like when I wear it. <laughs> I'm very tiny, but it's like the size is quite decent. Not huge, but definitely not small. Again, the only downside is that it's a little bit heavy and it's empty right now, but it's not really a problem for me, but it might be for someone else, so I felt like I should mention it. Anyway, as I said, it's one of my favorite things from this haul, and I am totally in love with it to the point that I wish I had a reason to leave my house so I could use it. I also got some gloves from them. I think they are super beautiful, and they have different designs in a similar style, but different patterns. I picked the ones with bats because you know me. But they have like a cathedral design I think that is also super cute and um, you know some other velvety things that are all very beautiful but my favorite of course were the bats. Since my nails are quite long they don't fit me perfectly but it's not really anything that would bother me. They're comfortable to use and since they're not too thick, I can still use my phone with them. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you, I know it's out of stock, but I still wanted to include it here. They used to have really cool glasses. These ones I got because I was supposed to change the lenses, but in the end I never did because I don't even use my glasses that much. So why would I have two pairs? Anyway, I think they look really cute and I wanted to show you. The only thing is that I don't recommend wearing glasses with fake eyelashes because it's not the most comfortable thing ever, but they're very cute. The next thing I want to show you is this gorgeous necklace. I decided to put it on off camera because it's a little bit tricky to put it on with the wig and all that, so I needed a mirror for that. Anyway, I think it is still in stock. It is super beautiful, one of my favorite pieces. And the funny thing is I had totally forgotten I had it until I started gathering things for this video. So I think I'm gonna use it a lot from now on. I used to wear it quite often back when I got it, but I've had it for several years, so I totally forgot about it. Sadly, the next item I'm gonna show you has been discontinued, or so I think. It is this beautiful underbust corset, but the reason I'm gonna show you now is because they have the same but in black. So you can see the shape and the sizes and all that, but just bear in mind this specific color is no longer on their side. This one is a size 18 because the design is slightly different, the hips are bigger and the only thing that's smaller is the waist, but the rest of the corset is quite big so I could get away with it and size down for this one. Putting corsets on with weights is not the best idea. So if you ever do this, put on your wig last, but boots first. I know I should be opening the corset a little bit more to put it on, but if I have help or something, I would definitely open them completely before I put them on, and I recommend you do the same. So here it is. I can close this one almost completely. It's really good for my body shape, and I strongly recommend it if you're shorter and have like a very small waist but bigger hips. It's something that's very difficult to find with cheaper corsets, but the style for this is the best brand. I have other corsets that fit me very well, but they're a little bit pricier. 
So if you're on a budget, maybe this is really good. Now, I don't know how it is for people in the US because this is a European brand, so I don't have to pay customs or anything like that, but I recommend checking because there might be customs if you live outside of the European Union. Now, at the current exchange rate, it might not be really a big problem because things should be very cheap right now for you guys in the US, but check anyway. That's uh, what it looks like on the back. I think it looks pretty cute and I really love the shape and how small it makes my waist. And I wish I had it in other colors, basically in black, but uh, the size 18 is always out of stock for some reason. But whenever I manage to get this corset in black brocade in a size 18, I will be very happy. We're coming back to jewelry now and I know a lot of you asked me about this set when I wore it like a couple of months ago for a video. It is from Rust Style. I've had it for many years but I seem to remember that it's still on their website. I really hope so. I love this necklace. It's huge, it's beautiful and I also have the matching earrings which I also love. I think it's a very gorgeous set and as I said before, this style is super affordable for corsets and jewelry. And I hope you can see the earrings properly. They're really big, but they're not heavy at all, at least not for me. Whenever I say this, I'm afraid that I'm probably used to heavier, bigger things, but for me at least, they are not heavy. I still have a few things to show you. Next is this bodysuit. Unfortunately, I got the wrong size and I realized when I already took out the text and everything, so I didn't message them, but I think if I had, they would have been happy to replace it. Anyway, it is really big on me, it's a size M, but I'm gonna try it on anyway so you see the design. Just bear in mind that I'm an XS and this is an M, so two sizes too big for me, but I still want to show you. I'm gonna wear it with this skirt, which is also from them, and this one is a size XS, so it's my size and it fits me really nicely. So I'm gonna put these on and I will wear it back. Here's what this outfit looks like on. It is really lovely, even if the top is way too big for me, but it still looks kind of cute. And the skirt, of course, is my size. It is perfect. It is quite long and my knees are here, but that's also because I'm a bit short. If you're taller, again, it's gonna look different on you. Even if it's a little bit longer than what I usually go for, the quality looks really good and feels really good. Oh no, I think it makes a really, really cute outfit. I used this for some Instagram photos and reels, so I will insert them somewhere here. So what do you think about this outfit? I personally like it a lot, even if it's not my size for the top, but... It still looks pretty cute. I think we're approaching the end of this haul as I only have a couple of things left. But here we have this super cute bad hair clips and this is what they look like on. I'm not sure if I put them on correctly because I'm just looking at the camera. But they match this necklace perfectly. And as you probably know by now, I collect things with bats. So I am really happy with them. And now to end this video, I'm gonna show you this jewelry set. I'm not completely sure if it's still in stock. I saw it on the web, but I don't know if it was the black one or the purple one. I really don't remember, but this is a choker. It's really gorgeous and again, it's very affordable. Now, I also have the wristband, but it is way too big for my tiny wrists. Even if I close it on the smallest one, it's kind of big. So what I used to do is um, put it here and it, huh, I can still do it. I think it looks gorgeous like that because it's so big and here looks like it, it's more obvious that you're wearing it and I really love it. And finally, I also have matching earrings that are pretty big. And I don't know, this is one of my all-time favorite sets. I used to wear it a lot back when I got it. and. Probably should wear it more now, but I really don't have any chance to wear all these things because I rarely leave my house and what I do is just to go grocery shopping because I work from home. I don't have much of a social life, so <laughs> I don't really have any chance to wear this, but I can wear it at home or to take photos. Anyway, here's the full set and 
as you can see it's just gorgeous anyway i think that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and you like the things i picked for this i know i include some things that were a little bit old and are probably not in stock but i believe you can still find them on secondhand marketplaces and there's a chance that they will restock them at some point so i also wanted to include them here i am really happy with everything i got from them the quality is really good and the prices for corsets and jewelry are really affordable for clothes not so much but they are still not super expensive and I guess that was it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!